ESPN's coverage of the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series on ABC. Brought to you by Toyota, moving forward. And Allstate, are you in good hands? Race 8 in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup at the Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth. Carl Edwards trying to ride off into the sunset, a race that will end after the sunset. Some of the speedway's lights and Edwards after the exchange of pit stops, leading Jamie McMurray by 3.2 seconds, trying to close some ground on Jimmy Johnson in this championship race. There's a look back beyond from Edwards to the second place McMurray car, that 26 machine. As for Jimmy Johnson, He's running in 29th place. He is the seventh car one lap down after the pit stop, but this radio traffic after the crew had a look at the car during the pit stop. Good job, man. Great job. Go get him, brother. We found a little something that was wrong, so you're good now. We'll get this back. Well, really no surprise for those of us who know Chad Canales. How do you win three championships in a row, Alan? You don't tell anybody what your secrets are. Kind of playing it close to the best today. Chad Canales speaking in code, telling his driver he knows what the problem is. Not telling him exactly what that problem is, but you can be sure they've got a game plan to go to work and fix it. Radio transmission not too long ago. Jimmy saying the car's still a little bit loose. All right, Mike, thanks. And inside the pit studio with Rusty Wallace, Brad Doherty, watching the lap times for Jimmy Johnson now. Yeah, it's fixed. Yeah, Johnson's got some great lap times going on right now. In fact, that last time by, he was the second fastest car on the racetrack. So, you know, Chad's not telling us what they found wrong, but definitely something was wrong, and they fixed it now. Now, they do have time to get this lap back. Where they've been great all years on pit road, so he will get that his placing back as they make the pit stops. They'll advance him and get him back up in the lead group. And you see the championship standings as they run. Carl Edwards having closed to 64 points and Jimmy Johnson, Greg Biffle having closed to within 100 points of Johnson. But again, as they run, and there's a lot of racing left to go today for Johnson to make up positions and finish somewhere up toward the front of this field. The key thing to watch in this segment of the race, how many spots can Johnson make up to get himself toward the first car one lap down? And if a caution should come out, what work Johnson's crew can do on pit road to get him in position for that free pass to be that first car one lap down. Alan, that is a great point for you. Jimmy Johnson fans, you remember what happened in Atlanta last week when he got all the way back to 30th position, one lap down, and the guys on pit road made the difference. They got him out to get him the free pass under the caution. So uh, a lot yet can happen. Johnson right now in 29th position. Carl Edwards, though, guys, is uh, mowing him down. He's moving in on some other guys to try to put him a lap down, including Kurt Busch, Hamlin, uh, Stewart, and Earnhardt Jr. These guys he's going to hope to catch here in the next 10 or 12 laps. And that's going to be Jimmy Johnson's biggest thing is how fast Carl Edwards is running. As we ride along, we can see Greg Biffle here running around the bottom of the racetrack. But uh, Carl Edwards is coming up on some really good cars. Kurt Busch, Denny Hamlin, Tony Stewart, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. are going to be in this group. And you put these guys a lap down, then this is much more difficult teams to try to, to overcome than what Jimmy had to last week. So uh, Carl Edwards is making short work of a lot of people here and doing exactly what he needs to do to get the most points, leading the most laps. Update the two car, Shannon. Doc, despite the fact that Kurt, uh, Kurt Busch qualified 40th for this race, the team was very optimistic coming into the race today. They were third fastest in happy hour practice. But as soon as that green flag dropped today, they have been struggling. Kurt Busch said he almost wrecked on the first couple laps, and they have been working on that car all day just trying to get it right. As right now, he is getting passed by your leader, Carl Edwards. ABC Thursday at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, 9 Central, an all-new Life on Mars. The next great cop show has arrived, starring Michael Imperioli, Harvey Keitel, and Jason Amaro after the all-new Grey's Anatomy. Coming up, ABC Thursday at 10 Eastern. You see, Carl's having a little more difficulty putting these guys a lap down. Kirk Bush wasn't willing to give up that spot just yet and go a lap down on the racetrack. Carl's getting back time to regroup. Brian Vickers and the one car, Martin Truex Jr., battling for ninth position. What a nice job this 83 team's done, moving all the way up into the top 10. 
We saw him take a, a brief lead there right before the green flag stops, but this team's been moving on the moves from the start of the race. Yeah, they had to start in the rear because they changed engines. They had an engine problem yesterday in the final practice session, so they chose to change that engine. They had to start in the rear, so moved himself into the top ten. Remember, Brian Vickers has been very good on mile-and-a-half racetracks, particularly at Lowe's Motor Speedway, where he led a ton of laps uh, in back in May and also led laps here in October. Hasn't been able to catch a break, though, to put it together for a top five finish yet, but having a good run here. Yeah, so is Martin Truex, who started on the outside of the front row here today. He's going to give Brian that outside and not battle him and contest that too much at this point in time, but still a nice run and still inside the top ten for Martin Truex. Jimmy Johnson now able to go by some of the cars that were also a lap down in front of him. He just gone by Michael Waltrip. Trying to move in on Ryan Newman and Scott Riggs. And this is what Jimmy Johnson will have to do is ride along with him is to pass these guys on the racetrack and, and get as many of them as he can here and then hope that he gets that caution flag to where his pit crew could give him a little more of an advantage like we saw happen at Atlanta last week. Definitely got two agendas, two different agendas with the 48 team versus the 99. Carl Edwards needs to go out there and just put as many guys a lap down and run as hard as he possibly can because that's going to, oh, look at, and Jimmy doesn't need to wreck the car. That's one thing. <laughs> that's an agenda for sure, but they need to just stay focused, the 48 team, and, uh, and they've got the car running a lot better. They just need to make up spot by spot one at a time. In the garage area this morning, a lot of NASCAR drivers were talking about upsets in college football here in the state of Texas last night. Number one was upset totally changed the complexion of the national championship race. And oh, by the way, the Heisman race. And they were saying, what if number one in NASCAR could be upset today? What if Jimmy Johnson would have issues? Carl Edwards is trying to pull off his imitation of the Texas Tech Red Raiders and upset Jimmy Johnson and the 48 team right now. He's getting it done. Edwards has led twice for 73 laps. He wants to be the last man standing. <laughs> 